Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make this cardigan, which might seem difficult, but actually is quite easy. The written pattern can be found on my website in size small up to 5XL. I will put the link in the description below. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will receive notifications when I upload new free patterns. For this cardigan you will need Lion Brand Pound of Love in two different colors and crochet hook size 6mm. We will start with dark grey yarn and we will make 86 foundation half double crochet. I will now show you how to make the foundation half double crochet and if you can't do this then you can also use the old method by chaining 88 but I highly recommend trying the foundation half double crochet because it will look better. The width should measure 34 inch. In row 2 we will chain 2 which does not count as a stitch and we work one half double crochet in each stitch across. Now mind you when I say half double crochet it actually is a wide half double crochet which means we insert the hook in between the stitches. So you don't insert your hook through the two loops which you usually use, so you insert your hook in the middle of two stitches. We will continue working one half double crochet in each stitch till the end. The last stitch is worked in between the last half double crochet and the two chains. At the end we turn our work. In row 3 we will work one half double crochet in the front loop only in each stitch across. As you can see there are three loops, the one that we call the horizontal bar and then we have the front loop and the back loop and we will be using the front loop which is the loop closest to you. So go ahead and work a half double crochet in the front loop only till the end. In row 4 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in each stitch across. In row 5 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in the front loop only in each stitch across. In row 6 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in each stitch across. We 
Repeat row 6 until row 28 or until the length measures 10 inches. At the end of row 28 we will change to light grey yarn and we will do this by not finishing the last stitch because we will finish the last stitch with light grey. This is what we call an invisible color change. Now repeat row 6 for another 20 rows until row 48 or until the total length measures 17 inches. At the end of row 48 we do not fasten off because we will continue working on the first front panel. In row 49 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in the next 21 stitches. At the end we turn our work. Now repeat row 49 until row 58. In row 59 we will chain 2 and skip the first half double crochet. We will start working in the second stitch and in each stitch till the end. At the end we turn our work. In row 60 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in each stitch till the end. At the end we skip the last stitch and turn our work. Repeat row 59 and 60 two more times. In row 65 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in each stitch till the end. Now repeat row 65 3 more times. And your first front panel is done. It should measure 7 inches and the total length of the cardigan should measure 24 inches. We will now continue working on the back panel and we will join yarn in the next stitch right after the first front panel. And all we need to do is work one half double crochet in the next 44 stitches. And at the end we turn our work. Repeat this until row 68 or until you have a total length of 24 inches. And the last front panel we will join yarn in the stitch right after the back panel. And we will chain 2, work a half double crochet in the next 21 stitches and turn our work. Repeat this under row 58. In row 59 we will chain 2, work a half double crochet in each stitch till the end and we will skip the last stitch. Turn your work. In row 60 we will chain 2, we will skip the first half double crochet and work a half double crochet in the second stitch and each stitch till the end.
Repeat row 59 and 60 two more times. In row 65 we will chain 2 and work a half double crochet in each stitch across. Repeat row 65 three more times. Now fold the front panels like this with the ribbing facing inside. Sew the shoulders and fold the cardigan inside out. The ribbing should now be on the outside. For the sleeves, we will use light grey and join yarn in the first stitch of the armpit. Make sure to leave a long beginning tail, which we will use for seaming later. In round 1 we will chain 2 which does not count as a stitch and we work one half double crochet in each stitch around. From now on we will work in continuous rounds which means we do not work a slip stitch and chain 2. In row 2 we will work a half double crochet 2 together and a half double crochet in each stitch till the end. In round 3, we will work a half double crochet in each stitch around. Now use your beginning tail and a needle to close the hole between the first and the last half double crochet of the armpit. Here you can see how I did it. Repeat row 2 and 3 until row 31 or until the width measures 4 inch. Keep working one half double crochet in each stitch till your sleeve measures 16 and a half inch. You can make the sleeve longer by repeating row 3 as many times as needed, but keep in mind that we will still add a cuff which will add an extra one and a half inch. 
We will continue working on the cuffs and in row 46 we will work a slip stitch in the next stitch. We chain 2 which does not count as a stitch and we will work a back loop half double crochet in the same stitch as the slip stitch. Then we continue working one back loop half double crochet in each stitch around. In round 47 we will work one half double crochet in each stitch around. The first half double crochet is worked in between the chain 2 and the first half double crochet. In round 48 we will work a slip stitch in the next stitch, we chain 2 and work a back loop half double crochet in the same stitch as the slip stitch. Then we continue working one back loop half double crochet in each stitch around. In round 49 we will work a half double crochet in each stitch around. And in row 50 we will work a slip stitch in each stitch around and work the slip stitches through the two back loops only. Fasten off and weave in all the ends. Repeat the slip and cuff on the other side. Now we will create a nice edge with single crochet stitches. So with dark grey yarn, join yarn to the first row and work one single crochet in each row until you reach light grey. Here we will change to light grey using the invisible color change technique. And we continue working one single crochet in each row. Then we continue working with the neckline all the way to the back panel.
drag across to the other front panel until you reach dark grey again. Change to dark grey and work one single crochet in each row till the end. Fast enough and weave in all the ends. All you need to do now is add a zipper. You will need a separating zipper which is 22 inch. Zippers can be bought online or at local craft stores like Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. Now sew your zipper using needle and thread. If you have a sewing machine and know how to use it, then you can also use that one. Here you can see how my mom did it. And I know this is not the best footage because I was holding the camera in my hand while my mom was sewing the zipper. But hopefully this will help in case you've never done it before. And yeah, go ahead and I will see you at the end. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time. Bye!